plenty of lives within a lifetime, one could say. I was in business development in Paris, in extreme sports online, a TEDx organizer in Asia, in marketing and communications in Hanoi, a seafarer of the globe, in cultural diplomacy in India, in performing arts in Germany and Austria, but I've seen the sky for the first time in Russia. I am a self-taught artist since I've broken my foot a few years ago. A calling, an awakening, the essence of my soul. French design, German quality, Russian mastery, Asian influence, encompassed in a holistic vision of human nature. Technique, unconscious, psychic automatism, spiritual journey, forms and colors, fusion of chance, imaginative vision, objects found or are being found. In any case, Hegelian object spirit relation. Obviously, I am the Gestalt passenger in the boat of my creative process. And so the perception, fantastic imagery, fetishization of the ordinary, mythology. You, all you humans of the world, I am calling you to action. I empower each and every one of you to appropriate culturally and personally my creations. Liberate your thoughts, your feelings, your language, your human experience. Eternalize your perception by sharing it. I am pleading for the democratization of impressions. Interpretations are not a monopoly, a luxury reserved for the elite, but a right for everyone. All cultures, all ethnicities, all religions, all skin colors, all social classes, all ages, all gender, all sexual orientations, all majorities and all minorities. I encourage you to take part in the movement of participatory surrealism. You don't know what is participatory surrealism? Don't worry, I will explain to you. The term participatory is derived from the concept of participatory democracy. Demos, meaning all citizens living within a particular city-state. Here, the meaning has been expanded to all citizens of the world. Kratos, meaning power. The term surrealism refers to the creation of feelings, thoughts and interpretations via mysterious exchanges between the material and the mental worlds, as articulated by André Breton. You, you see who is André Breton? It's the one who played the piton. Mm. Hence, participatory surrealism implies that all citizens of the world are empowered to interpret my creations and that all thoughts produced, feelings evoked and interpretations expressed are of equal value. The message belongs to all. Next to each artwork, there is a small box, a pen and paper. Visitors are encouraged to share their impressions and interpretations on the spot. This way, each participant contributes to an immediate perpetuation of their authorship, a form of collective writing where all comments are of equal value. Time exchange of shared authorship. What starts burning, boiling inside of you when you look? What is your interpretation? What is your message? The reflection of the zeitgeist of the individual embedded in a global context of perceptions. Art is made of the same material as social changes. Come, come, gather around art as we once did around the bonfire. Express, discuss. The artwork takes on a social form. The visual effectiveness produces relations, relational art, interactivity, relations between people and the world by the way of aesthetic objects. The collective production process of relevance in the present. No, my art doesn't seek to represent utopias. My art 
seeks to translate aesthetics into a fertile terrain of the everyday now. No, my art is not reserved to the linguistic system of analytic supremacy. My art values the reflection of each individual, culminating in the penetration of the entire human existence. In fact, my art democratically shares the responsibility towards the real. My art is called participatory surrealism.